Y'all know what time it is. It's Baja time. It's just so... That's awesome. So perfectly clear. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's Baja time. I love it when the drinks I consume are so green screen. That's obviously something healthy that you should be putting in your body. <laughs> is neon green liquid. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Lost Sphere is not fine. No, absolutely not. There's no way we could But it hasn't you. been, and, and we've been dealing with it. I did get one more treasure chest with two M ethers. Hell yeah. Before walking through the door. Actually, I'm gonna hit our items real quick, and... Um... By acquisition. You can sort by so many things. There we go. Okay, so now... All of this stuff is nice and in usable order. Just make oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, Have the ethers and the m ethers next to each other and stuff like that. Yeah, and all, just all this stuff is up top. <sighs> okay, cool. We've got a lot of shit to rock with in this next whatever the fuck boss battle this is going to be. Whatever's about to happen, hopefully will be okay. I know we've got a lot of damage dealers that can output a lot of damage. That's true. And we have a lot of ways to heal with our new party. I think we have a robot, too. Robot gun nerd's got uh, some great healing abilities of his own. No, I meant the robot, the Volko suits. Oh yeah, right. We've been we did not go to a hospital. We have brought Kanata with us straight to the king's room on another continent. Why? I don't know why. We'll never know why. Kanata should go to a hospital. So did we just need to have this conversation in this room? I don't know. I, I guess they just set all of this up so that we could be in this room together. I don't understand. But a lot happened yesterday. We met Krom. And when we met Krom, he was like... I'm the villain. I'm bad. And mm -hmm. we're like, great. Can we have the moon back now? No. We're going to chase the phantom, which is, I think is a drug reference. <laughs> we, yeah, we're ready. No, we saw the chests in the back room. Like, this is going to be bad. Hey, Neo Diaz. Oh, we should fight the person here who we always fight in this room. And that's like that king man. Like a carrion's call. I, have I think, come he's, gonna help. I think he's gonna help us out, but then we're fucked. Maybe. Are you fixing Kanata? Because you owe him one or something? Yeah, I don't... Isn't he the guy in charge of the people who are fighting us? I don't know. Because he's the Emperor. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I don't know what we're doing here, or why we're here. I'm very confused right now. Because don't we still just need to take Kanata and go f fix the continent next to us? The main well, city? Well, Kanata needs to be alive for that to work. Uh, okay, I guess we didn't know until just now, but maybe Neo Dias can reheal Van. Which is very frustrating, because Van's the person who did it to him. We were right there, at the door of what we needed. And then Van fucked it all up. We're gonna use memories to heal the memory healer. So is it just a faction in his military that's the bad people then? I don't know. Remember I magic? Remember that time that I put on different clothes and cosplayed as a normie? Yeah. I thought that was a joke. Emperors do not joke. Okay, buddy. Settle the fuck down. Oh, for the love of God. Hi, I'm Santa Claus here to fix the plot for you. Come on, just do it. Just do it. I, just, I, I have... I know this is an important scene, so I refuse to just fast forward through it. <laughs> also, if you remember at the end of the last episode, if you hit that plus button, it's we don't know. Go 16 times fast. We're going to go. It's going to go eight times speed. It's going to go eight times faster than it was in the first place. 
<laughs> it's gonna get real weird. Wow, with that setting, I wonder how fast you can speedrun this game. I'm sure that it's quite fast. Because there's only, what, six battles in the entire game? Yeah. And you could just run through them. <laughs> Once you buy the right items. <laughs> if you're skipping through all the dialogue, too, on top of that, like... So I think the king is putting us in Kanata's brain. I think that's what's happening. Are we... Oh my god, we just got uploaded into the brain wave. We're in the Kingdom Hearts Endgame. Yeah, about time. There's also a save point right next to us. <laughs> just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, how bad is that? This, how bad is this going to fucking be? Oh, that's going to get real bad. A whirlpool? It's a dungeon. Okay. There's a dungeon in Kanata. We're in the dungeon in Kanata's mind. His, his dream. <laughs> Everyone has a dungeon in their mind. This one's Kanata's. I'm going to see if we've entered a new... Yep. The, the ambition, ambition of Krom. Did the last chapter even have a boss fight? We did Lost Hope was the last chapter. Did we have to fight a boss with just... Yes, we did. Van, Van and Kanata. I think that was the boss of the last chapter. Just fighting Van once? No, we never fought Van. No, fighting the spider boss with Van. And that Kanata. was the chapter before, though. Oh. I'm not sure, then. I don't think there was a boss fight that entire chapter. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, we can't da -da, escape da -da. it. It keeps happening. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, ba -bum. We're in Krom's memories. We're in Kanata's memories. So, so, so Krom did a bad thing to, to Kanata, and so now they're like, this game got really confusing. I'm lost. Let's just fix it. Oh, wait. They, the games literally run out of like places for us to do side quests because we fixed every single city in the entire world. Yeah, I think like, so we've now, covered most of the world map now. Now we're going into people's subconsciouses because that will be where we can fix people's problems. By the way, I've been 100% correct that they've been teasing the winger this entire time. After the sequence, we're going to get a winger. Oh, hell yeah. Imperial Capital, and then we'll be able to do a bunch of side quests in the game. So, cool. Like, That's what I Am Setsuna did. Uh, yeah. At the very, very, very last second, you get the, the airship, and then you can finally go everywhere. I don't remember them teasing it so hard, though. I don't think they've teased wingers very hard in this game. I think we've done that to ourselves. Well, that's true. They did say <laughs> winger a lot at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! Okay. The voices! Remember that? Oh, oh, did we set him to Japanese? Did you I do that? I think that's the only choice. Huh, okay. That's fine. I guess I'll just... Cool. Air blast? Yeah, it's... Yeah. Blast him. Oh, we're gonna... We're gonna have some fun now. <laughs> Get him! Cool. Was this something that we turned off, or was this something that was they gave always? Us, no, they gave us the option at the beginning of the game. Do you want voice acting? And I said no. Oh yeah. But okay. I also wasn't wanting to. Uh, I was basically being like, I want it to be the English voice acting, or I want us to turn it off. <laughs> so. I just don't remember us even testing it. No, we didn't at all. Yeah. I guess we just switch it to English if we can. It's just weird that they couldn't get English voice acting for this because it doesn't seem like there's a lot. No, I think they did. I think we just don't have it on. Hmm. Great. Now we have to worry about... Vorgs. Vorgs. The Vorg zone. Everyone huddle up. He was struck on the head. He's an idiot. Leave it alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta go! That went for a long time after I started pressing the start button. Hey! How you doing? No such thing as chance. Haven't seen this guy in a long, long... It's too powerful right now to worry about any of that shit. As far as we know, we're too powerful. <laughs> yeah. I would oh. love to update the weapons on almost everyone, but... God, we're in the Imperial Capital. Oh. We're in the dream space of the Imperial Capital. Fighting the Vorgs. Vorg Rebels? 
the hell? So I guess... Okay, so the Vorgs are these enemies we've been fighting. Who've, like, invaded the Imperial capital or something. Right. Oh, hey, guess what? Yeah. We can't see their health. Because we don't have... Because we're not on the world? We are not on the world. That's Which means we don't have access to any of those. That's interesting. We don't have access to any of the... Um, it might be problematic, but we're doing okay so far. So, like, we don't have to do any of the running around the whole place, or... We're free! Well, I mean, the other thing is, these guys just aren't really doing anything, so I'm just attacking. Yeah, might as well. Like, why would I do anything else? Oh, hey, more items. Yay. Thank you, video game. So, this looks like the the last house on the left. I was about to say the last house on the right. That's where oh, I'm here we go. quest thing. Thanks, party chat. Directly useful. Hasn't ever been before. I was kind of going to say that. It's first time for everything. I will call security. Don't call the cops on us. Oh, this is Crom, I see. You're Professor Crom? So what's better, uh, lock talking all robot-y or lock talking all hungry all the time? Like he the used robot. to. I think robot. I mean, hungry little kid is just like... A twerp. Fuck off. <laughs> feed yourself. I'm a, I don't have time to feed you too. Well, the other thing is, is like, if the game's not going to give me the mechanical ability to feed the characters or not make it matter, you know, then like, fuck off. That was the first point in the entire game where we were like, oh, that doesn't matter. He's just always going to be hungry like this. And there's nothing we can do about it. So why is it our problem? Killing the Phantom Crom would still bring me joy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people in your house, Professor Crom. So did they just basically make a bunch of Robocops in this place and now so, they're going haywire? So, so basically wire? it looks like Vorg is in charge of the Robocops in the Imperial military that I guess the Emperor has no control over because they've invaded his palace and I think we kind of like semi-rescued him? Wait, wait, this line. This line. Vorgs are no animals. They, they are, are our solution, solution to, to the, the moon. moon. Episode whatever. The solution to the moon. The solution to, to the, the moon. moon. You have to figure out this moon problem. Borgs are invulnerable to moon! The moon is distracted? The lunar kiln is keeping the moon's power in check! Ah! They keep throwing new shit at us! How could we be so sure the moon could make them vanish? The ancient plated ones. Motorized armor did not become lost. The moon eliminated the plated people. <laughs> so basically, we're just getting a history lesson right now that Krom was like wanting to like Oxymandius with his I robot. don't like this! <laughs> this sucks so much! <sighs> Calm down. <sighs> don't stop, video game. Please. We're so close to done here. <laughs> we were on track for maybe, maybe like five or six episodes. We had a plot that we were following. Now it's gone. It's gone. I don't know where it is anymore. <sighs> Are we like in the past now or the present, the future? It has to be the past. Another world? Because he wasn't, you know, made of shadows yet. <laughs> it's not like the moon's trying to eliminate everything. I see no evidence of mind or heart. Well, we know the moon only attacks people. Oh, what the... Jesus. 
No, this is actually, I was thinking about this while we were sailing around the world, mm -hmm. because the things that were covered in the lost fog, the skeet zone, uh -huh. was just the cities. Yeah. If you went to any of the islands that didn't have people on them, mm -hmm. there was nothing there. It was fine. But once you saw, like, a dock, and then a house next to the dock, and then a city next to the house next to the dock... This motherfucker just said indubitably. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> skeet zone follows people. Yeah. People made the skeet zone. The moon made the people make the skeet zone. This is all so terrible. I will fight the moon. I will gain my human freedom as I am a human. We have built the lunar kiln. When a perfect lunar kiln is completed, we will murder the moon. Well, they won't have to murder the moon. They'll just control the moon. They'll control the moon. This sucks. So whatever this like alternate universe is, maybe it's the past, maybe it's the future, maybe it's an alternate reality altogether. Uh, if they control the moon, will that destroy our world and vice versa? I don't know. I cannot wait to play, to play a better RPG after this. Moon's on energy this, spilled. Just on this channel. Oh, the kiln spilled all over Krom. I kind of figured. Which might be why there's an evil Krom. As the dominant sentient race in this world, we cannot, nay, must not capitulate. Okay, Reagan. What the fuck? You don't think so? <laughs> He's a tiny cowardly man. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like we should be having different music here, for sure. Dun, 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 dun. Inescapable. You remember that rant I had about music programming in games like this? Yep. Oh, I remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday. Probably like a week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> For Train Supreme! Their invulnerability, their invulnerability to the moon, to the moon ensures, ensures their, their survival. survival. So I guess there's only voice acting in battles because this is important dialogue here. So literally, they added voice acting just to have battle chalk. That's like the worst way to use voice acting. Yes, it is. <sighs> just Japan things. Who is him? Who are you? What? It's Neo Deus again. Uh, just oh, he is... he's the he's the first Vorg apparently. Yeah. Okay. Great. Cool. All right. <laughs> We've based all of them, the entire genome soldier project, based on. Undercut Neo Deus. Discombobulated. How did you know they were psychic powers? How else do you read minds but with yeah, psychic powers? What else do you read minds with? I'm sorry, can I get like a metal detector and like put it over somebody's brain? Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> ah, thinking. <laughs> This game is stupid. I don't know why I'm not skipping through this. <laughs> I'm really, really trying to be fair. Because, hey. I mean, how many people are actually going to play this thing all the way through? Like, we're getting into this, like, Dan Olsen, like, we just need to document this thing at this point. You this know? needs to be shown and in, in saved in some kind of way that at this point in this game, they have thrown us so far of, for a loop that we fell off the train tracks... We fell off the roller coaster altogether, and we're just like abandoning gravity. There's nothing holding this entire plot to the earth. I mean, I just want to go over everything that's happened in like the past 15 minutes. Yep. In the past 15 minutes, we have jumped inside the brain of Kanata. Yep. Inside the brain of Kanata, we are currently visiting the Imperial capital. 
that is based no idea off what of the reflections of Krom. Which is, yeah, which the apparently... The villain of the my, game? My guess is that Krom is Locke's... Uh, sorry, Locke's... Uh, my guess is that Krom is Kanata's father, but I don't... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not banking on yeah, that. Yeah, there's going to be some link between Krom and Kanata. Yeah, I, I kind of figure as much. But once that I happens... That, if, I think they did that in Setsuna, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, if, if Krom comes out and says, I'm your father, you know what that means, right? What? Kanata has to die because he's no longer an orphan. <laughs> He loses his orphan powers. Well, no, that means we have to kill his father so that he can be an orphan again. Ah. And then everybody at the end will be like, yay, orphans. <laughs> we'll do the orphan reunification song. <laughs> Too sweet. Everyone got in a circle, held hands, and sang the orphan song. <laughs> and that was how the game ended. That was the, That made the most sense out of the entire game. I say we comb every inch of this city. Of first city. I'm assuming <clears throat> that's the city. I think that's, yeah, this city before it became the capital. Yeah. This is first city. No, we should remember, remember we had, that Obaro is also like a ghost from the past. We had the first Vorg mm -hmm. in here, Neodeus, and the Krom guy is like super uh, all about humanity being the most important race yeah he's just like in like a like a like an extremist humanist i guess yeah like it's just weird that whole hierarchical scene but are we gone is that was, over but his whole idea was like we're gonna make some we're gonna make a a, a a robot that will outlive us because the moon doesn't care about them <laughs> <laughs> i'm so confused like what a what a I, that whole place was so weird is the memory over? Oh no, this is gonna keep going. Look, more yep. more eddies. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's keep on keeping on here. Mine's end, that's where we're at. Okay, so I are agree. there multiple? <laughs> we can go back if we wanted to. Hey boss, you wanna go back to that place? Uh -uh.